Hi everybody, Joey here again and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a protein skimmer for a saltwater aquarium. Now before we get on to the build, why can't this be used on a freshwater aquarium? Well, we know that a skimmer works based on the proteins being attached to the bubbles, but we need a lot of bubbles to make this work. Now in this example, the air pump, air stone, air pressure, aquarium, and temperature are all the same. The only difference in these two tanks is actually the salinity. The tank on the left is fresh water, the tank on the right has a salinity of 1.025, a pretty common salinity for most saltwater tanks. So why is the fresh water producing regular bubbles you would expect to see, and the saltwater tank producing a massive cloud of tiny bubbles? Surface tension. The surface tension on the bubbles in the saltwater tank is much higher than in fresh, which depicts the size a bubble can be. Bubbles in a saltwater tank can be made four to five times smaller than that in fresh water. Now because we rely on bubbles to remove protein from the water, a freshwater skimmer is simply not efficient enough to make it a useful component on a freshwater aquarium. Typically speaking, most protein skimmers will be round in shape, and this helps the flow of the bubbles. Most protein skimmers will also be tall and have a narrowing section at the top before it reaches the collection cup. We don't have to reinvent the wheel here, we just need to find a way to mimic the design with cheaper materials. All in all, this whole project cost me about $15, so here's what I've come up with. You'll need a pair of 500 milliliter water bottles, although you can supersize this design and use 2 liter bottles. I also used thin wall PVC for this project because it's not under any real pressure. Now this is schedule 20 PVC and 2 inches in diameter. If you supersize this skimmer, you can use 4 inch PVC to match the 2 liter bottles. A pair of suction cups, and these came from an old heater cup. Notice the nubs on the end of each cup, these will come in handy later. You'll also need aquarium safe silicone, but you'll only need a small amount. The most important aspect for this project is actually a wooden air stone. Now I'm actually a fan of the 2 inch Red Sea air stone because it's small, compact, and it works really well at producing micro bubbles. We have to use wooden air stones as it will produce the smallest bubbles. The smaller the bubble, the more efficient this will be. The air pump doesn't have to be huge, but the stronger the better. Start off by cutting the bottom of the bottle off, then the top third off the same bottle. You'll then be left with a midsection of that bottle. Moving on to the second bottle, cut the top third of that bottle off as well, and then slide the midsection of the first bottle onto the top half of the second bottle. Smooth the silicone over with your finger. Now this seam doesn't have to be strong, just leak proof. Drill two holes in the side of the PVC pipe. The holes should be slightly smaller than the nubs on those suction cups we looked at earlier. Turn the pipe on its side and drill a hole two inches from the bottom. Insert the suction cups into the first two holes. Now the suction cups should not come loose. Thread your airline into the last hole on the side of the PVC pipe. If the hole was made correctly, this will be a snug fit. Attach the wooden air stone to the hose on the inside of the PVC pipe. Then insert the water bottle on top of the PVC pipe. Now install it into your aquarium or sump, and turn the air pump on. At this point, there are many ways to adjust the skimmer height and ability to tweak it. First, you can slide the whole skimmer up and down in the water. Second, since the bottle is not a snug fit, it too can be slid up and down to adjust the skimmer production. The skimmer will immediately start to produce the bubbles expected, and within a few days the collection cup will fill with skim mate. Adjusting to get the perfect skim can be easily done, however it can take several days to even weeks to break a skimmer in. To clean the skimmer, simply slide the collection cup off and pour the skim mate down the drain. So as the wooden air stone creates the tiny bubbles and those tiny bubbles rise, proteins attach to those bubbles and rise up through the pipe. As they reach the surface, foam begins to build up, and the more and more foam that builds, the higher up the neck of the bottle that that foam is pushed, only to eventually overflow into the collection cup to be completely removed from the system. So there you have it, a very cheap and easy to build skimmer. Obviously not very pretty, but it's in a sump so no one's going to see it anyways. Given its price and ease of use, it can also be used as a backup for a quarantine tank or maybe even a hospital tank. Maybe you take this design and make it much more appealing and efficient. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also wanted to thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next week for a new project.